So if you are an active Vita user, then you are probably tired of seeing all these videos because you probably already know that Sony has announced that they are going to be discontinuing the PlayStation Vita and physical games for it in 2019. This is something that even if you are just casually into the Vita and you just you've been just or maybe if you don't even know really much about the Vita, you just know about how it's been performing lately. You probably were expecting this and if you don't know what the playstation vita really was it was basically sony's imagine the nintendo switch made by sony releasing in 2012 as basically basically a competitor to the 3ds and also you can just can't dock it and you have the playstation vita and it was actually it actually was a pretty good console i never really had much of an interest in it from what i heard it was it was pretty good the only problem was that it had some glaring flaws like the whole memory card debacle that was something i know a lot of people were really unhappy with the lack of big triple a games for it especially in the later years and especially just the fact that support for it was really dwindling and i wanted to talk about what really really put the put a knife in the ch what really killed the playstation media and what basically just what basically just put a knife in it and just killed it from there this was essentially this was this video was inevitable ever since i heard the news because I, even if even though i'm not an active v vita user or even a playstation user i still am interested in sony's products and i'm an enthusiast so it's nice to be able to sit down and talk about something and have a discussion and host a thread so i'm going to be discussing about what i feel like sony really really went wrong with with the playstation vita but before we get into that like you uh, like i say in all my videos if you have your own opinion leave it in the comments let's have a discussion if you feel one way let me know let's not start flame wars that's something that happens a lot in these type of discussions but anyways, let's get into this. So I'm not going to be going over the entire history of the PlayStation Vita. It's most likely, if you're watching this video, that you know what the PlayStation Vita is. As a quick summary, in case you somehow don't know, it's essentially just, like I said at the beginning, it's it was Sony's competitor to 3DS. However, it really did not sell well after its first few months. And that caused support for it to really really just fizzle out and that's one of the big reasons that basically killed the vita but there's another reason that really really hurt it and could be in my opinion the number one reason why the playstation vita is not in a better place today and this is something that you probably are aware of if you are actively into the playstation vita but basically if you don't know sony is in general has not been that enthusiastic about the vita and that's to be expected Nintendo was not enthusiastic about the Wii U after it, you know, was not selling well at all. And with any with any console, with anything pretty much that's a system like this that costs this much money to develop, when it doesn't perform to your expectations, you're going to not be in that enthusiastic about that. And Sony showed that. However, Sony started to make some decisions that really really suffocated the Vita. And there's a lot of reasons why they would have done that but i feel like if they didn't do it and just kind of let the vita alone but still actively supported it the vita would have been in a different place today probably the biggest sign of this was when sony announced in 2015 or mainly just commented that they're not making we're not making vita games that's essentially what they said and they had their own reasons like consumer expectations which being honest if if their main focus at the time and still was the PlayStation 4, which was not even basically, it was completely running laps around the PlayStation Vita. It, it's obvious that they wouldn't put the amount of effort into the Vita, but if they did actually make games, you know, independent games from Sony that really showed off what the Vita could do after, after the Vita came out and still supported it, the Vita would be in such a different place today, and that's something that Sony has definitely learned about the Vita, is that if your console doesn't perform well, you have you have to put the effort into it. Now, there have been some exceptions. The Wii U never really caught on. However, I feel like that was a separate issue, which Sony didn't do a whole lot of. However, 
it was mainly the lack of true games on the Vita that really killed it. N Nintendo's issue with the Wii U was that they didn't market it. That was the big thing. I know a lot of people have their own reasons, the gamepad and all that. It wasn't worth it compared to the Xbox One, PlayStation 4. And that makes sense because the console itself was severely underpowered and of course it wasn't getting the same third party support but at least you could say that the wii u had some very some damn good um first party games especially i mean if you look at mario maker splatoon even 3d world those are these are those are big big games and you can't really say the same thing with the Vita, which is disappointing but like i said nintendo's main issue was with marketing and if Sony marketed more of the Vita, it probably would have been a different place. But if Nintendo had the same marketing campaign of the Switch right now with the Wii U, it would have been a completely different story. And the Vita, being honest, it probably would not have the same problem with the Wii U of people not developing for it. Because it's actually... Sony is actually... Well, it may not have been selling well. If Sony published more first-party games on it and created more buzz about the Vita... That would have increased sales, and that's, especially if you have some really good first party games, that's going to increase sales. That's essentially what the Wii U was completely built on, and that would entice people to make third party games. And I know I can keep comparing it to the Wii U, but the Wii U was a different situation from this completely. I know people are going to mention the Wii U in the comments. The Vita is something so, so different from that. But I'm not going to be comparing that for the entire video. By completely ignoring the PlayStation Vita, that's what that's what really also hurt it. And while marketing is a whole thing, I feel like even just mentioning it at even E3, and just announcing some titles coming out for it in the later E3s, even if that many new titles were coming out for it, just trying to create some buzz around it would have helped because the Vita really, really needed everything it could. I mean, it came out at a time when it was competing against the 3DS, which was doing, it was starting to perform better when the Vita came out in 2012 in North America and Europe. But I feel like also when it launched with the whole mobile phones completely taking over, just this perfect storm of problems for the Vita, completely, I, there was a lot of reasons that killed the Vita, but I feel like just in general, having all of these reasons come together at one time doomed the system from the start. I've been pretty negative towards the Vita so far in this video, but the console was not the problem. Sure, the whole memory card problem was dumb, but I feel like Sony really just... They could have taken more event. They just could have taken advantage of the Vita, and they could have done more with it. And being honest, I wish they did, because we could have we could be looking at the Vita in a completely different light if they did. Maybe the Vita would have sold okay. However... You can't change the past at this point, and although I do appreciate Sony for what they've done, I do feel like they could have done more with the Vita. But anyways, that's my opinion, and if you have your own opinion, leave it in the comments. As always, if you do want to check out my social medias, that's always up to you. They're in the description. And again, see you.